Well, here we have another one of those uh, derogatory naming systems that was again named by the early settlers to put Aboriginal culture in a box, to, to define it. To, and it's defined always by these derogatory uh, negative terms like payback. Maybe it's not strange, but I still find it strange why contemporary Aboriginal society takes, upon, takes these names upon themselves and says, oh, it was okay to be named by these derogatory terms. Payback is one of them. Now, every group, every family group in the world, Aboriginal or not, original Australian or not, would feel elements of revenge if one of their own family members had been hurt, killed, uh, assaulted or whatever. Uh, revenge is a very human feeling. So does revenge and re feelings of revenge exist in, in Aboriginal people? Of course, it's, because it does. But was it a central part of their culture and their law and their systems of law? No, it was not. Never was, never was, never was. They have a very good system of uh, mediation. As I, um, as I point out to people quite often that there were at least five clans across from each other looking after one individual. Uh, up, your, up, up the climbing up from your mother's side and your, your grandmother, your mother's mother's side and down to the grandchild side on the other side of you across clan groups. There was a whole range of people who would look after and be concerned about the central individual in, the, in those groups. So if one of them were in trouble or one of them were, were become victims of some heinous crime or whatever, there would be more than just my family uh, involved and concerned about finding a resolution to that or finding some sort of uh, closure to it. And there'd be a number of meetings. They would use a system very similar to is used in the West, maybe it's a, use, uh, a human system, is where they would use jungaya. Uh, people who were appointed as, as like lawyer managers to go and talk to the other family so that it wasn't just head on arguments using feelings of revenge. Because people were trying to get back to a state of magaya, peace, tranquility, where there's ma magaya, like there's no word in English like Margaya. Let me give you one picture of Margaya. Margaya is like if you walk out on, um, onto the shores of a lake in the morning, early morning, and you look across the lake and it's like a sheet of glass. Not a ripple, not a fish breaking the water. Perfect tran tranquility. That's the state of Margaya. That's the state the traditional Australian law was designed to create, that state of Margaya. So constantly people were looking for, how do we find that margaya? How can we return to that margaya? Uh, what is the, another, another word that's not, that you can't explain in English? Where is the win-win way of finding that state of margaya? So that was central to people's thinking, not payback. But the earlier settlers started to say, Oh, they're into payback again. They're into payback again. This is happening, that's happening, something else is happening. They didn't understand what was happening at all. They wouldn't even even understood that the number of family meetings that would have occurred and the like. It was just easier to name and blame and, and put their culture down with derogatory terms. Unfortunately, those names have become the weapons that are now used still back against Aboriginal culture and Aboriginal people. They become the very sharp, very violent weapons that are still used today. Even though we say we shouldn't name and shame people and all that, our central cultural understanding of the original Australian culture is in itself a violent act because we don't understand the real situation that was there. Aboriginal people today, if they were left to their own devices, there might be a lot of payback because that traditional law has been uh, scrubbed out, <laughs> destroyed, annihilated, 
over and over again by, by the, the mainstream Australian law and system, politicians who have even banned their law from being used in court, lawyers even in court who use the naming rather than the traditional law and so on. So yes, it's very damaged. But in the traditional Australian cultural way, the original traditional Aboriginal law and system, no, payback wouldn't have been a main feature of their daily life.